Hello everybody, Andrea here with Dental L Tutoring. Thank you so much for clicking this video. It means you're excited for some radiography case study type questions. So let me go over some with you. Let's do it together, study together, and I am here to talk about the answers as long as the rationales. Because it's one thing to, to go over case studies to know the answer, but do you really know the answer? Do you know why the other ones are not the right answer? I am big on rationale. So let me share my screen with you guys. Um, so this is a radiography case studies package that I do have. So I'm going to go through some of those questions with you right now. And if you guys have any questions, comment below and I'm very happy to help. Okay, so let's go through the first one together. A periapical radiograph shows a radiolucent area around the apex of a tooth extending beyond the root canal filling. The tooth is asymptomatic. Which of the following conditions is most likely present? A, B, C, or D. So feel free to stop the video, pause it if you wanna think about it, cause I'd like to explain it a little bit, but you might do better thinking about it on your own. So feel free to pause the video cause then I'm going to go over the answer. So with case studies, you have to look at every single part. Think about that critical thinking. So a periapical radiograph, that's the first clue. It's not a bite wing, it's not a pan, but it's a periapical. And then it shows a radiolucent area. Is that white? Is that black? Do you guys remember? It's black around the apex. So it's around the apex, the bottom of that tooth, not the side of the tooth, not the crown, but it's the apex, extending beyond the root canal filling. So it's extending beyond a root canal filling. So there's a lot of information in here, but another key point is that the tooth is asymptomatic. Do you know what asymptomatic means? Is it painful or is it not painful? So this one is not painful. So knowing all of that, it's a periapical, there's a dark area around the apex of the tooth, beyond the root canal filling because remember when you're doing a root canal the filling shouldn't be beyond the apex right like it should stop at that point but it's beyond um so if there's a dark area at the apex it's been root canaled uh oh what's happening so what do you think the best answer is okay let's go through it the best answer is going to be the periapical um, granuloma. So sorry that this text is a little bit small, but I had to fit in all the rationales here. Oh, I can actually make it bigger. Let's do that now. There we go. Um, okay, so B is the best answer because they are chronic inflammatory lesions that develop in response to pulp infection or necrosis, meaning something has died. They appear as a radiolucent area around the apex of the tooth extending beyond the root canal filling. Since the tooth is asymptomatic, this is the most likely the best answer. So what if you thought A was the best answer? Because in my early student years, I would have thought A sounds pretty darn good too. But notice how A is, there's pain typically with an abscess. Um, you don't have to have pain just so you know with an abscess, but typically there is pain. And we're talking about the board exam here. So that's what they're going to be referring to is the typical. But then what about a cyst? A cyst is a dark area, yes, correct, but it's, it is associated with a non-vital tooth and likely painful. So that's why that's not the correct answer. What about the last one, external root resorption? So this is loss of a tooth, has nothing to do with this dark area at the apex, it's just completely the wrong answer. Does that make sense, you guys? So always think about all of the answers and why it wouldn't be correct and go from there. So let's go through one more here. Okay, a bite wing radiograph shows a radiopaque mass located between the roots of two adjacent teeth. The mass appears well-defined and uniform in density. Which of the following conditions is most likely present? What do you think? I'll give you guys some time to think about it. Pause the video once again if you need more time to think about it. So let's go through the question together. It's a bite wing. It's not a periapical this time. There's a radiopaque area. So that's a white area. But it's not just an area. It's a mass between two teeth. The mass isn't all, all over the place, but it's very well defined. So these are very common things to know. Just off the top of my head. Would calculus be seen in a bite wing? It could be. Would it be radiopaque? 
What do you think? Um, so think about these things. And then let's just go down to the last one. Amalgam. Would amalgam be seen in a bite wing? Of course. Is an amalgam dark or white? It's white. Would it be between um, two teeth? Well, it could be if it's interproximal. So you see how this is a tricky question. Okay, let's talk about the answer. So the correct answer is going to be D, amalgam restoration. I was trying not to give it away as I was talking about it. But so but let's say, though, we were talking about A, and you said to yourself, oh, well, that sounds pretty good. Now, calculus appears as a white mass, yes, to the tooth surface, but it doesn't typically occur between the roots of adjacent teeth. So you see how that's the key word. It would show up in between the teeth, but would it be at the roots of the teeth? Not usually. It would be seen kind of where the crown stops at the like cementum enamel area there, but it wouldn't be seen at the roots. But amalgam, yes, you would see that more. So this is the correct answer. So it's a it's composed of mixed metals. We 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 all know that. It is a radiopaque area and it is absolutely a mass which would be in that area. So does that make sense, you guys? So you see how these questions are tricky, but for case studies, this is what it's all about. It's about tricky. And two answers sound correct, but you have to pick the one that's the most correct. So I hope this helped. Just a couple questions for you guys here. If you want more case studies, I can leave some links for you down below. If you are part of my VIP Board Exam Prep Academy, you get all the case studies. We go, we go over case studies every single week for every single topic, including mock exams. You have PowerPoint materials and teaching videos such as this one, so you never miss a beat. That's the way to go when you're trying to pass the board exam, right? Even if you've taken the board exam once or twice before, it's never too late to sign up for a tutoring program and I am here to help you guys, okay? So thank you for watching. Click like if you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.